What's up, everybody? So today we're going to spotlight Jelena Marjinovic, featherweight, former unified champ, more recently WBA champ, who lost twice to Erica Cruz. Not sure if she's retired yet, but either way, I'm going to give you some tips and some information that you just need to know if you plan on using Jelena Marjinovic. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Peace. Jelena Marjinovic, her height and reach are in the middle of the pack. So there's nothing that really stands out there. When you go to her breakdown, you see her rating 82 overall. Now, when you start breaking this down with her stats and you see vitality, stamina, speed, strength, defense, and heart. If you're a defensive player, you do not really want to choose Jelena Marjinovic. Jelena is not, she's really low. She's really weak when it comes to defense and heart. She's at the bottom tier when it comes to that. She's pretty much at the bottom tier when it comes to speed. She's in the middle of the road, even with strength and stamina. But what she does have is something that a lot of fighters do not have. And that's traits. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But also, you're, want, you're going to want to utilize her jab. She has one of the best jabs, a top tier jab. And her power is top tier for the women. She's in that top tier with the Taylor and the, the Cameron. So you really want to focus on using your jab and using that left hook in particular. And here's why I say the left hook. So let's look at her traits. When you look at her traits, only there's only about three fighters that have traits, if I'm not mistaken. Jelena, Katie Taylor, and Alicia Napoli. Those are the only three. So when we're looking at Jelena's traits, Distance Keeper, increased damage dealt from jabs thrown by 20%. So pump that jab. The negative for this passive trait is decreased damage dealt from hooks thrown by 5%. That's okay, because you got the smoking left hook, which increases your chance to knock an opponent down with left hooks by 15%. You see how that kind of counteracts that negative on that passive? And another negative for this, for smoking left hook, is decreased chance to knock opponent down with right hooks by 5%. So that's why I mentioned, throw the jab, throw the left jab, throw the left hook. Left jab, left hook. So it's the left. You're focused on the left. So if you're going against Jelena, watch out for the left. She's solid. She can KO you. That is her money punch, that left hook. Man, she's got some highlight reel knockouts in her career from that left hook. So ultimately, if you're more of a stationary player, you don't like to move around the ring a lot, you want to use educated pressure, then you definitely can use Jelena because she's gonna have a solid jab. She doesn't have great movement and that's gonna fit your style. She is not a great counter puncher. When you look at the counter puncher, she is on the low end. So see that's 79 for counter punching. Remember that, that's not her forte. So you need to be pumping the jab and throwing out the left hook with Jelena Marjanovic and you will be all right. Trust me, trust me. And I have heard others like Dark Side and I believe, I don't know if it was JMMA, but I believe they both had high praise, at least for their work with Jelena. They feel like she's one of the better, when it comes to the women, she's one of the better fighters to use. So don't hesitate picking up Jelena. Good fighter, just know her strengths. That's all I got for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. And we've got a new star budding right in front of our eyes.